Hello, this video is going to show you how to hook up the mic so that you can have usable audio in your video. So the first thing you want to do is take the XLR cord and connect it to the microphone, whether it's a lavalier or handheld. And then you're going to take the other end and you're going to connect it to one of the two inputs on the camera you see here. Now I'm going to use input one and then I'm going to make sure that the switch in front is on mic and not line. You use line if you want to connect your uh, microphone to a malt box or to an audio board or something, but we're connecting it to a handheld microphone, so we want it on mic. And then you're going to walk over to the other side of the camera, the control panel side. Remember that we have connected, to, connected our microphone to input one, and so we want to assign input one to an audio channel. So here you can see that your input one is under channel one. So I'm going to make sure my switch is on input one, okay? Not internal, not input two, but input one. So I've got the mic connected to input one, and I've got it switched to input one. Now, if you look over here on the uh, check, LCD screen, check, one, two, three, you can four, see five, that six, the seven. audio levels are going up and down. I'm gonna do a mic check. Check, one, two, three, four, five, six, mic check. Okay, notice the red bar is appearing. That means my mic may be a little too hot. It may be a little too loud. So I'm going to go over and um, adjust that on the panel side of the camera. There's a dial there. You choose channel one and you can crank it back a little bit and test it again. Channel one audio one two check check check. check. See how it's pinging over the, the white bar but it's not hitting the red which is good. Now you have to be careful um, when you do a mic check you may actually get get bars, you may get levels, and it still not be selected on input one. That's because your, your channel one may be assigned to the internal mic. You don't want to use that internal mic for interviews because it won't be usable. It picks up everything else around the room. It's not going to be quality audio, so make sure you have your input assigned to the right channel. So you've uh, assigned the input, you've done a mic check, and now you're ready to go.